Oh, sorry. So, I'm back on these streets, but today I want to find out what is the best AA battery that you can buy in Uganda. Is it Duracell? Is it Energizer? Is it Tiger Head? Is it any other brand that we do not know about? Because you are a child of God, the love of God is in love you. It is beside you the sun to touch in your heart to remove. Now, if you're a human being living in the year 2021, you are most likely using a battery in one of your devices. It could be your cell phone, it could be your, uh, your watch, your clock, your electric vehicle. Those of you who are from around know that Uganda is also on the path of making its very own electric vehicles. In fact, on these streets, there's been a bus moving around called the Kayola EV, which is like uh, a demonstration uh, electric vehicle which is also powered by batteries. So my task today is to move these streets and buy as many different brands of AA batteries as I can find, then take them home on my bench and test them with some form of empirical method to determine which is the best AA battery that you can buy in Uganda. Hopefully, you stick around. For the tests, I'll be using this constant current load. It allows me to discharge the batteries at a constant current regardless of their voltage. It's built around an op amp with a MOSFET in its feedback path and a shunt resistor. The voltage across a 1 ohm resistor is the same as the current that flows through it. Ohm's law, right? I bet you thought you'd left that in school. The red meter keeps track of the battery voltage and the yellow meter keeps track of the current that it is supplying. If you're more interested in this setup, the schematic looks like this. Before we go into the tests, if I drop two similar batteries from the same height, can you tell the one which has a higher voltage by the way they bounce? Hmm. Watch till the end. Batteries have different chemistries. In this slot, I have zinc batteries and alkaline batteries, and yeah, you can sort of tell that the alkaline batteries are more expensive just from the packaging. After a couple of days of tests and observations, I had several pages of recordings. Of course, these are proper observations, not like this guy right here. For the zinc batteries at a discharge current of 200 milliamps, we have Superlion in the 6th position, Tosbal in the 5th position, Panasupa in the 4th position, Tigerhead in the 3rd position, Panasonic in the 2nd position, and Villa On in the 1st position. Now the real surprises were in the alkaline batteries. At a discharge rate of 200 milliamps, the worst performing battery was, wait for it, Duracell at number 7, followed by Tigerhead Alkaline at number 6, followed by Sony at number 5, followed by Powershiba at number 4, followed by Energizer at number 3, followed by Kodak at number 2. And the best performing battery, ladies and gentlemen, Pluto Alkaline at number 1. Wow. What a surprise for a battery I hardly knew about. I repeated the tests at a higher current of 400 milliamps, and the performances of the batteries stayed the same. This time, Energizer and Kodak reached the cutoff voltage at the same time, just like Tiger Head Alkaline and Sony. The worst performing battery remains Duracell, and the best performing battery is Pluto. This video is not sponsored or biased in any way. It was out of my curiosity to know. I also made sure to check that the batteries I was using were genuine. Here is a list of all the batteries that I tested, with their ratings in milliamps and their prices. To make it more interesting, I'll add the price in shillings per milliamp and this will give us a chart showing the value for money that you get with each battery. Feel free to pause the video if you want to see the charts in detail. If you're still confused by all this, I'll summarize as follows. With no doubt, the battery that offers the best performance is Pluto, but if you consider the prices, the battery that offers the best value for money is Powershiba. In the category of zinc batteries, Panasupa offers the best value for money. 
Remember our bouncing batteries? Spent batteries tend to bounce more than fresh batteries, given that they are the same brand. Perhaps next time, try to bounce your batteries off the floor before you throw them away. But don't quote me on this, bouncing batteries off the floor is not scientific proof in any way. Now that the results are in, what are your thoughts? Are you surprised? Is it what you expected? Leave your comments below and subscribe and see you on the next video.